to the next video in today's video i will show you how to fetch a user's location continuously inside your gado game for android so we will be creating a plugin for it and even if when your game is in the background it will still be able to fetch uh, it will be it will still be able to fetch uh, the background location of the user so first of all uh, here you can see uh, this is my game running like it is not really a game it is very i have just created two simple buttons one for starting location and one for stopping location but one bug which i have found is that i'm not really sure if it is a bug or not but as soon as my uh, gado game opens uh, it shows this permission dialog but this permission dialog should only show when i click on the actual button so uh, if you are curious i have raised this issue uh, on the gado android sample and by, for now at least i have not received any uh, i have not received any you know uh, comments yet or uh, suggestions yet so i'm not really sure whether the issue is from my side or from gado side but this is like a very minor thing i won't even consider it as a bug so i will just uh, uh, click outside of this uh, tab just so that uh, you can uh, truly uh, know that okay uh, once i click on a particular button uh, i am able to again able to request the permission so here you can see my gado game running and uh, the black screen which you so at the start it's because i'm running in the debug mode so the performance is a little off and also i have a very old android device so if i click on the start location button uh, here you can see that the permission dialog is again open now i will click on while using the app okay and next uh, thing which uh, the uh, next thing which it asks is uh, i have not enabled gps so i will need to enable gps as well so i will enable uh, i will click on okay for that as well as you can see uh, this is my latitude and longitude that has been displayed i know this is not valid because i have purposefully made it so so that i uh, i don't want to reveal my uh, real latitude and longitude so suppose my latitude is uh, 12.34567 so uh, i am just taking the last three digits but i will show you how to get the exact latitude and longitude like this is the exact latitude and longitude but i am just taking the last three digits because i don't want to reveal the location uh, but yeah as you can see uh, it is working and also if you see at the top there is this uh, foreground uh, location service which is running which is continuously tracking my location with this one uh, forget about the app launch monitor like this is uh, some other app which i am using but this is the track location working and if i try to move uh, my gado game uh, in background as well still it is running as you can see over here and if i want to stop the location i will just click on stop location button and location stop you got a signal for that as well as you can see over here the the location has been stopped and if i press start location again you can see the location has started again so yeah let's get started so firstly uh, uh let's get started on creating a plugin so i have written all the steps for it so if you want a detailed uh, guide on how to create a plugin from scratch i already have a video on this uh, but i won't go uh, like i won't show you each and every step in this but i will explain you all the steps so first you will have to create an android project using android studio it can be an empty views project or a jetpack compose project once you create that you will have to create file new module so here you can see i will just close this so you will have a project like this just click click on it file new module select android library and give your library some name if you want you can change the package name as well so i have already created a project uh, like uh, an android library for me so i will go to the android uh, drop down and my android library is called android location okay uh, next uh, you will have to add this implementation to your build.gradle of library at the time of this recording i am using godo 4.2.1 but if you are using some other version do go to maven central for checking what is the latest version typically it matches with your uh, godo pro uh, like whatever godo engine you are using so i am using 4.2.1 that's why i'm using that so if you go to android location over here here you can see i have added this now i have also added this location service because we need access to this and i have i also needed to add the add this kotlin coroutines because um, at the time of this recording uh, the kotlin version which is used in gado is 1.7.0 and as far as i know like uh, if you are using uh, kotlin 1.8.20 and above uh, this uh, you don't need this dependency 
बिकॉज आई नेवर नीडेड दिस डिपेंडेंसी इन माई नेटिव एंड्रॉयड प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव ऑल्सो रेज एन इश्यू फॉर दिस एज वेल सो इफ यू गो टू द गडो एंड्रॉयड सैम्पल अनफॉर्चुनेटली द इश्यू गॉट क्लोज इफ यू सी ओवर हियर सो इफ यू डोंट एड दिस डिपेंडेंसी यू विल गेट एन एरर लाइक दिस बिकॉज द माई एंड्रॉयड लाइब्ररी इफ यू सी इज यूजिंग कॉटलिन वर्जन वन डॉट नाइन डॉट ट्वेंटी बट गडो इंटरनली स्टील यूजेस वन डॉट सेवन डॉट जीरो इवन इफ यू ट्राई टू चेंज द गडो वर्जन ऑफ कॉटलिन टू वन डॉट नाइन डॉट ट्वेंटी स्टील डजेंट वर्क सो आई हैड रेज दिस इशू एंड सो इफ यू सी ओवर हियर दिस गाय हैज टोल्ड दैट वी नीड टू एड दिस डिपेंडेंसी एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो टोल्ड हिम सो इफ यू सी दिस कॉमेंट ओवर हियर Uh, that uh, godo relies on 1.7.20 and coroutines needed to but in native android projects uh, if you are using 1.8.20 and above you don't need to add this coroutines and he said that okay godo 4.3 will update the kotlin version so in case if you are watching in future you might have to like figure out whether uh, you really need this dependency or not okay so that's one thing uh, next we have added all the dependency next we have to create a file called godo android plugin so go to kotlin go to your library kotlin java and go over here godo android plugin and here you can see that i have created a class and i have mostly copy pasted this from the documentation and we require these two things location request code and request check settings and here i have created a location service class uh, object so this is a service class like a variable I have created not initialized yet, and here I am just checking whether the service has been bounded yet or not. We don't require this, okay? And once uh, the Godot setup is completed, we have to add this uh, notification thing because this is required from Android O and above. Then here you can see uh, this is uh, callback once the service is started. So if you, I won't go much in depth because otherwise the video would be too long. Because if if you want to. continuously track the user location you require an android service that's what this is okay and here uh, you can enter your own location plugin name but make sure whatever plugin name you entered you remember it because this would change depending on what you have entered and inside get plugin signal i am just uh, created a signal called location signal so that we can send data from this godo plugin to the godo game Uh, and here uh, first you will call get location once the start location button is pressed and here i am checking whether all permission has been granted if yes then start the location service if not request the location service and the stop for stop location uh, we, this is the code for stopping the location and we are emitting a signal that location stopped okay uh, this is for requesting the permissions like all these are all permissions which are required and here i have raised another issue like this on main request uh, permission result and this Uh, there is one more uh, this on main activity result these are also deprecated but they are like when when you try to use it in uh, godo like they don't seem deprecated but if you try to use it in native android project uh, it will be marked as deprecated and there is something called register for activity result and i was not able to use it in my godo plugin i have also raised an issue for that as well so if you are curious you can track this issue if you want to but i think it's fine uh, like it works for now uh, and i doubt whether the register for activity result will ever be supported or internally they will might have to change it because i am facing same issues in react native as well anyways coming back to the same point so once you uh, grant the all the request then uh, it will come over here and here i am checking whether all permissions were granted or not if yes then start the location service if not then the location has been denied okay and here we are starting the service here uh, we are starting the location service uh, okay so i am just checking whether gps provider and network provider are there or not and once that is done just a call start service which i have defined over here also we need uh, access to the gps so for that this is all code which is been required and uh, on main activity result is called once uh, this is resolved okay once you have granted gps permission then it will comes over here and then again here i am calling start service and this uh, will be given as a callback from service to this uh, plugin uh, so that we can send uh, this uh, latitude and longitude uh, to the user now i have uh, said that right that i am just taking the last three digits so what you will have to do you don't need this stuff you also don't need this stuff okay and i can just clean it up a little something like this 
something like this so now you will get a proper location so this is what you are displaying on the screen okay but there is also one for notification that's also we need to change uh, so that's it for godo android plugin next what you will have to do you will have to create this extension class just to check whether all permissions has been granted or not so just normal permissions okay next you will have to go to default location client so here i am extending from the location client and it requires a context as well as a client and again i won't go much in detail but all i'm checking whether we have gps provider and network provider or not and depending on this you can ask for the uh, high accuracy like you can change these values according to your need but i have kept it as high accuracy and once we get a uh, location we just send it to our service and here i am requesting from location updates okay and next you will have to create this so if you also check inside godo android plugin we are implementing this interface called location callback which i have defined over here so we need so the service will send us this okay next there is this location client as well in case there is some error with these uh, locations and next is the location service class so if you see over here first thing is uh, we require a icon for our notification so i have just added an xml icon over here inside this drawable you need to add this inside this drawable uh, depending on what icon you want inside your notification like it can be anything png or jpeg will do as well but better to keep it as xml so direct svg is not supported in android you have to convert it into xml uh, next is the service class and here again uh, this is like core routine things then we are initial creating object for location client and this stuff is required we need to, uh, because we need access to the location start service and stop service even i am not uh, good at this uh, like even i have copied it from uh, someone other someone's tutorial okay and here we are initializing our location client and once you start service this thing is called and here you can see it internally calls the start so we are uh, updating our notification and here you can see we are passing that icon which we have created over here and uh, here we are just creating a notification manager and we want the location updates for every this interval but you can change it to whatever you want and also you don't need this if you remember we were just taking the last three digits but you don't need this you need the exact location latitude and longitude right then I'm just calling start foreground and on destroy we are just killing it. So yeah, that's it for location service. Next, what we will have to do is we will have to go to Android manifest and add this stuff. Also, we need to add this permission as well. So go to Android manifest.xml and here firstly, you will have to add all these permissions which are required for location. Uh, and also given that we are using background location, we require the foreground service as well next you will have to copy paste this like i have copy pasted this from godo documentation only thing changes this this the name of your plugin so whatever plugin name you have given and also this thing the godo android plugin so if you don't know the package name what you can do go to godo android plugin and just copy the package name dot this godo android plugin class name. and this should be your plugin name okay don't be confused plugin name and this is your class name you also need to register our service so the location service class to let android know that we are continuously tracking the user's location okay so this is done next we will have to go to project directory go to library okay so go to your android go to project go to your library and i will just uh, minimize this for now then you will have to create a folder called export scripts template inside over here you will have to create a file called plugin.cfg and i have copy pasted this from docs only change the plugin name to whatever you have named and you can change the description and author if you want to then here inside export plugin.gd again i have copy pasted this from docs the important thing is here it should be your plugin name so i have entered my plugin name and the other important thing is if you remember i was uh, talking about so we are adding this extra dependency inside our build.gradle so this is required now i'm not sure whether godo 4.3 will allow will update this uh, kotlin version to 1.8 or 1.9 or not if it is then i don't think you will require this but in case if you are facing crash even for godo 4.3 or 4.4 relating related to kotlin core routines then you might will have to add this and if you are adding this over here don't forget you will have to add it to our build or gradle as well which i have sh already showed you so if you see where did it go 
think this one yeah so this one so it is a little bit confusing uh, but yeah it is what it is so i have also shown you this okay so i'll just show you to you again and this again everything else is rest of the things i have copied it from docs okay so we are done with this we are done with this we are done with this next what you will have to do open terminal go to the root of your android project go to don't go to your library go to the root of your android project and then just run this command once you run this command inside the what you will have to do is you will have to go to your uh, library so i'm inside my library go to build outputs ar and here you should see two zip files okay like uh, ar files not zip files ar files now i have already copy pasted those files to my godot project that's why they are not visible uh, like i have cut pasted but you should be able to see it if everything is proper next you will have to create a godot project i have already created it and inside that you will have to create a folder called add-ons inside add-ons you will have to create a folder with your plugin name again be careful inside that you will have to create a folder called bin and inside that i have created two folders debug and release and inside uh, and your plugin folder you will have to copy these two files so if you remember we had created these two files inside our plugin uh, inside our library sorry android library you will have to copy these two files over here inside your plugin folder then inside bin you will have to go to debug and here you uh, inside uh, ar folder you will see two files ar files you will have to copy it over here so go to debug copy it over here but make sure you change the name to your plugin name so whatever your plugin name is dash debug.ar similarly for release plugin name dash release.ar so you have to call in, inside over here you won't be able to see it i think uh, godot does not uh, shows those file dot ar files but anyways again if you are little confused i would recommend uh, to watch my first video on step by step guide how to create a plugin next you will have to go to project project settings and inside plugins you will have to check this click this checkbox next go to project click on install android build template i have already installed it then go to export click on add add the android runnable then click on this use gradle build then inside architecture you will have to select what architecture your mobile phone is on if you don't know just select all four of this and here also you might see an error called fix import uh, just click on that fix import button it will handle automatically for you okay next i will just create this ui so if you see i have just created a uh, two buttons and one label that's it and if you see the script i am just using android location plugin so this should be your plugin name and i am just initializing it inside uh, on ready and i am also connecting our uh, signal for it and on button pressed low so i'm just calling get location button of our android library and on second button press i'm calling stop location and here inside signal we are continuously updating our label text next uh, yeah we have already done all of this next you will have to go to editor editor settings i also done this editor editor settings just search for android over here and you will have to add your debug key path as well as uh, your uh, hdk path so if you for mac os the typical debug key path is over here i'm not sure about windows sorry about that you can just do a google uh, normal google search for it and also you can check the wi-fi for remote debugging because my mac does not support android usb uh, so i am using wi-fi debugging for this so yeah i think that should be it uh, yeah thank you for watching